Hey there, manufacturing maestros. Have you ever wondered how all the cool gadgets, toys, and even cars are made? Well, buckle up because today we're diving into the world of assembly lines. Imagine living in a time when everything had to be made by hand. That's right, every single thing. Your bike, your parents' car, the computer or smartphone you use, all had to be crafted from scratch. Hey, you're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com. People used simple tools like hammers, saws, and chisels. It was tough work. During colonial times, people had specialized jobs. Cobblers made shoes, blacksmiths worked with iron, and tailors sewed clothes. It took a lot of time and effort. It's time for pop quiz. Are you ready to test your knowledge? In past, people used simple tools like hammers, saws, and chisels. A, true. B, false. Did you select the option? A, yes, you are right. Then came the Industrial Revolution. People started using interchangeable parts. This meant parts from one thing could be used in another. Your bike's wheels and bolts can fit other bikes. Genius, right? This idea came from France and was used to make guns. In 1798, it arrived in America, and even George Washington loved it. He asked Eli Whitney to make guns using interchangeable parts. But the real game changer came in 1901, when Ransom Olds invented the assembly line to make cars. What's an assembly line, you ask? Let's break it down. Imagine you need to make 100 colorful stars for a school dance. Doing it alone would take forever. Instead, you set up an assembly line with friends. One person draws, another cuts, someone else colors, and the last person hangs the stars. You'd make stars super fast. It's time for another quiz. Who invented the assembly line? A, Henry Ford, B, Thomas Edison, C, Ransom Olds, D. Nikola Tesla. Did you select the option C? Yes, you are absolutely right. Henry Ford took Old's idea and improved it. He used a conveyor belt to move car parts from one station to the next. Workers at each station added parts to the car. This method allowed Ford to produce one car every hour and a half. That's two million cars a year. Ford became known as the father of the assembly line. Today, assembly lines use robots and machines. People oversee the process or check the final product. This has made production faster and cheaper. We can make more products quickly and sell them at lower prices. Our manufacturing economy depends on these modern assembly lines. So, what do you think? Would you rather build something from start to finish or work on an assembly line adding parts? Either way, the assembly line has changed how we make things forever. This is another video brought to you by Goalie, the best kids' tablet. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.